Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Geraldine. I am a online business systems integrator. And in today's video, I am going to talk about my morning and daily routine working from home. You might think that working from home or working remotely, because if you work remotely or have that laptop lifestyle, that you can do whatever you want, um, whenever you want. So I'm going to try something different today. I want this to be more of a uh, conversational um, video. My morning routine it has been a long process. Um, in figuring out what works for me because I've tried waking up early, working out early, uh, then I've tried working out in the afternoon or at the end of the day, at night, and after trying everything, you know, people telling you or encouraging you to have a routine, I finally came up with mine. And for me, what works for uh, my family is me waking up early when everyone is still sleeping and when everyone uh, who might be on my team hasn't woken up yet to send me messages. I feel that I can do more than later on in the day. Now, it doesn't mean that I don't get work done in the day. It just means that if I focus for two, three hours, I can accomplish more than two, three hours in the afternoon when people are messaging me, when people are asking for things, when um, I have meetings to attend and all of that. So I wake up at 4.45 in the morning. From there, the first thing that I do is work out. And my workouts vary from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Um, sometimes on the weekends, I will go out for a run. Uh, that's something that I've been slowly working on, but living in Tennessee, it can get really hot and humid. And if you have ever tried <laughs> running outside when it's like that, you feel like you're dying. Um, and you can drink all the water and still feel so dehydrated. Um, and I just don't like that feeling. Uh, from there, um, it's around like six o'clock and there are a couple things that I do. So I wash my face, um, just to get all that sweat and gunk off, right? Wash my face, uh, make my coffee, and then I come upstairs. When I come upstairs, I come straight here. One of the things that I learned uh, being a remote worker is that I have to have a place where I do my work because I can easily grab my laptop, which is over here, and work downstairs or work in my bed or work in the living room or anywhere. And I found that if I have a place where I can sit down and just get work done, that's all that's gonna happen. Um, so I come upstairs, I am waiting for my coffee to uh, chill out a little bit because it's freaking hot. So <laughs> I get my journal, um, write my prompts or you know whatever I do that morning, uh, read the Bible and um, what do I do next? Oh, and then post on social media. So one of the things that I try to do is at least post, um, you know, my wake up time that I'm getting to uh, ready to work out. And then after I'll post a something inspirational or um, something that I find that's going to get my day started. And again, if you use social media the right way, uh, where it helps you keep yourself accountable and uh, maybe inspire you or something like that instead of just um, you know looking at other profiles and scrolling around then you know you you lose track of time so that's the only thing that I do so in the morning when I'm putting on my shoes I take a picture and that's it 
when I'm done, I look for something inspirational to kind of get my day started. There's only certain accounts that I look at to find something and I post it and then I get to work. And by this time, you know, I'm drinking my coffee, I'm listening to some um, cool, aesthetic, chill music on the side. And that's just the way I start my day. And that would be like my morning routine. Now, some of the things, some tips that I'm gonna give you working as a remote person is that you have to manage your time. I cannot tell you how many times you can, you know, you're looking at a screen and then you remember something and you start looking at that and you're just like not focused, right? And you probably heard that if you um, have distractions, then for you to get back on that task that you were doing, it's going to take you 10, 15 minutes. Um, so just staying focused, don't have a bunch of tabs open, just whatever you are working on. Um, managing your time. So you know how long it should take you to do certain tasks. Now by this, you can time yourself so you know, hey, if I need to um, create a email that I need to send out, that should take me, you know, 15, 20 minutes. If I need to um, briefly look at, look through my emails and respond to the most important ones, that should be a five to 10 minute task, depending on how many emails you have. So you, as your own little CEO, you should have, um, you should know how long these things take. So managing your time, making sure that you're getting the most important things done in the morning or you know when you're in your full focus mode um, another tip that I'm gonna give you guys is that sometimes having your phone on you is a distraction and I've talked about this before so like right now and I'll show you guys the only way I use my phone especially now is my daughter is sleeping so I have it on this little tripod and I have her pulled up, so she's napping. I can see that. Um, and that's it, and I put it in uh, night mode. So, or you can put it in airplane mode, whichever one works for you. But not having those distractions around you are really, really gonna help you. And another tip is that as a remote worker, it is your responsibility to have your tech or um, systems, tech systems all set up. Um, there's no excuses. You can't say, hey, you know, I didn't charge my laptop and I can't um, get on the meeting today. Or making up excuses like, oh, I don't know how to use this. You should take time to learn whatever software your client is using to be of value. I am the type of person that, okay, if this is what I need to do to do my job and perform well and to um, set those, uh, meet those expectations, then I am gonna do them. Why? Because we are all replaceable and that's what I'm trying to get to. If you do or continue to do something, you can easily be let go and that is not the reputation that you want to create as a remote worker because the word can get around really, really fast. Um, another tip as well is that if you have a community of other remote workers, online business owners, um, communities like Facebook or Clubhouse, things like that, it's good to have those there. So when you have a question or you just want to vent or just anything, you know you have a place to go and talk about these things because I feel that they are very, very important. Don't be afraid to ask questions. There is no crazy question out there, even though you can Google it and try and figure it out yourself, but you should not assume, you should always clarify. 
with your client or um, the person that you are working with because you want to be on the same page because I can read something, read an email or a message and interpret it a different way. Now, one of the things that I like to do is use Loom. Um, if I'm trying to explain something, just this is going to be a bonus tip. Now, as a remote worker, you can get lost in the work. Um, I can sit here all day and work for 12 hours straight. You get so focused in a certain project or a certain task that you just want to keep going. But remember that you need to take care of yourself. Right? Because if you don't take care of yourself, then you're not going to be able to perform. So working online remotely, it can be draining sometimes, but if you're doing something that you really love, you can be here all day. Um, but just remember to take care of yourself and have some sort of balance when it comes to doing work and taking care of yourself and be sure to look out for your other team members as well. So I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting things on there um, on a daily basis. So go check it out. <laughs>